We will move on to public participation. The first element of that is the public forum, uh, and could I invite Grant Buchanan um, presenting on the um, boarding house on Erica Street. Yes, come forward. And if you could switch your, just press the button on your, um, oh, they'll do it, right. Okay, it's all done. Thank you, welcome. Uh, thank you, Madam Mayor. I've been asked um, to speak on behalf of the residents uh, at Erica Street, uh, and our, our position really hasn't changed. We are um, un unhappy, but obviously accepting of the uh, decision from the uh, RMA hearing. Um, but we feel that we've been largely excluded uh, from the process, whether that's deliberately or otherwise. And I prepared uh, some notes here, so I'll simply read from them to make the to point more succinct. Um, Madam, we wish to bring to your attention the lack of independence of your staff and the appalling treatment of our community received from Council in exercising our rights under the RMA. Excuse me, just, I'm sorry, but under the standing orders, there's, there's just a, a, a line that you need to just traverse very carefully around um, references to staff. It's, it's there's no reference to any staff at all? No, 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 but you just opened with a reference to staff. Um, it's not the staff by name, it's the, it, it, it's just, I'm just saying there's a very fine line. If, if you can, I'm not taking this off your time, so you can That's start fine. again, but um, I, I'm just, I'm just asking that there's just a, it, it just traverse that line very carefully. I, I understand what you're wanting to say and um, there is, you know, a good deal of um, sympathy around the issue, so um, please. I think it's more a matter of process than, than whether the um, uh, City Council planner, this City Council planner or any other City Council planner, the, the process is what it is, and it is the process that is appalling. Yes, yes, so if you would just stick to the process, that's great. Mm. Well, Thank it you. It might be a little hard, but um, I will say planner. Madam, the matter refers to the recent application for resource consent and subsequent hearing in respect of the conversion of the Wendover Rest Home in Erica Street, Papua Nui, into a boarding house. The application was made to the Council in May 2020 and the subsequent hearing was in October 2020. As required, the City Council identified residents affected by the proposal and, and sent out information packs and letters to those people. Those letters were in English. They did not refer to people, refer people to whom English was a second language, to where translations could be available. It's 2020, and for nearly 20% of our population here in Christchurch, English is a second language. Four residents who were identified as affected did not understand the process and could not engage in the process. That is simply not good enough. How many other ethnic groups are excluded from participating in council business through this council's lack of acceptance of our diverse culture. It is the same for our more elderly residents. One of our elderly residents is 93 and the other 86, both living on their own, both affected without family support. They also could not participate in the process. Residents of Erica Street received this correspondence from council and it referred them to a council site to access the full application file. That portal to council's website had already been taken down by the time the residents had got these letters. It took several phone calls uh, to, and several days before it was put up. This shortened the time that the residents had to file, uh, to read the file and decide what action to take if necessary and what legal action and legal advice they could get. Council planner was assigned to deal with the matter. That person should be independent in all matters, dealing with the application, the applicant and the community equally. That did not happen. The lack of independence is confirmed by the report from the to the Commissioner and in his report he ignores the advice of two of the Council's own um, advisers. The planner is not an expert on traffic matters and is not an expert on des urban design. That is why, rightly, they sought advice on those matters. It concerns me as to having sought that advice, it was rejected. If he was independent, then he should have made himself available to the residents affected by this proposal equally. He should have discussed the proposal with them and what the elements 
on which the application stood or fell. At all times, the residents were treated as a nuisance, an impediment to the application that by this stage he had supported. The hearing was held across town in the Horsell Community Centre. This was a further slap in the face for these residents from Papua Nui. Some were unable to attend because it was held so far away. The planning team should be more respons responsive organisation to the location of the hearing. It should have been not been held across town. It should have been held close to where the residents were affected, or at the very least in the central city. If council facilities were not available, then they should have hired premises on that location. I know that the, this is possible because as a former city council licensed commissioner for four years, we hired premises and held hearings close to those residents that were affected or were held here in the council chambers. We, were, we felt that we were deliberately excluded from the process and obstacles were put in our way. At the hearing when council planners were making submissions to the commissioner, he referred to a legal opinion that, sorry, he referred to a legal opinion that the council had obtained in respect to a legal issue. Can, can we wrap up? I mean, that's the five minutes. That, um, right. that, that is the disadvantage of this, but that's I fine. am going to ask you to um, provide us with your written submission because I do think that we need to respond to the um, process issues that you are raising. Just one final yeah. uh, paragraph then. The merits of the application and ultimately the decision will be hard enough for the community to deal with. Mm. But the manner in which we have been dealt with by this council gives us no confidence that any of the statutory requirements nor the moral requirements were met to ensure a proper community consultation, nor were there any sign of council's independence. It is not council working with the community. This is a council actively keeping us at arm's length. Thank you very much, and thank you for um, working around the, the very strict um, uh, obligations that we have under the standing orders. I think you've raised a number of points which need to be responded to, so staff are coming down to collect a copy, but if you could email through um, a version of it, if you've had it all typed up there, um, that would be very helpful. Um, and. Uh, and I'm nodding from the Chief Executive is that we will be able to respond to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now we move on to deputations by appointment. Um, David Jones and Graham Allen are presenting a deputation on item 23, Montgomery Spur Reserve Management Plan non-comprehensive review on behalf of the following groups. Christchurch Single Track Club, <coughs> Canterbury Mountain uh, Biking Club, Summit Road Society and Port Hills Park Trust, Mount Vernon Park, and welcome. Thank you very much, and uh, thank you for your time. I see a monstrous great agenda, so yeah. crack on. Um, my name is uh, David Jones, and this is uh, Graham Allen, who is the real expert and authority on Taramere. Um, I'm here because I have multiple interests in, in this, um, not only a runner, walker, biker, resident of the, of the Port Hills, I'm a member of the Christchurch Single Track Club, uh, a member of the Canterbury Mountain Bike Club, um, a member of the Summit Road Society, uh, the neighbours who are on to, to the east um, with the new Linda Woods Reserve, and also a trustee of the Port Hills Park Trust. Um, the neighbours to the east and where the Rapaki track runs. A couple of years ago we approved the construction of the uh, Full Monty track which linked Taramere to the top of the summit road and to the tracks at the top there um, and that has proved enormously popular and successful and has achieved the objectives that we wanted from the trust which was a separation of mountain bikers going quite fast down the track to, to the walkers. And it, in, enhance the experience for both. Um, we're now very keen to get the, um, the final piece of the puzzle constructed, um, which is from Taramere down to um, the bottom of Rapaki, and again the same purpose to um, separate uh, faster riders from walkers and enhance the experience for everybody. Um, the uh, council officers, I think, have, have done a great job on the report, covered all of the, covered all of the key issues. 
Um, and, and really my purpose here is to demonstrate the high level of uh, interest and the very wide ranging community that support this uh, recommendation and to uh, commend that to the council. Tēnā koutou katoa, um, called Graham, Graham Allen, Aho. Um, I've been involved with much of the volunteer effort with Port Hills Mountain Bike Tracks since 2006, um, working um, strongly in conjunction with um, park rangers, um, in particular Nick Singleton, who I acknowledge and thank for his advocacy and collaborative approach. Um, I submitted to the original um, Montgomery Spur Reserve Plan and then was the principal driver of the de, uh, building of the Taramia Loop Track in, within the Montgomery Spur Reserve. Um, the suggested me amendment, as David has just said, is, is well laid out um, and explained and supported by both the increases in public recreation on the Port Hills and the obvious benefits of linking Montgomery Spur Reserve with adjacent um, reserves and um, roadways. The amendment is consistent with the section within that plan um, 3.5.3 slash 4, cycling links and access points should be investigated to optimise the benefits to the public and residents. So expanding our, our ways of accessing that reserve um, is, in, in, um, is congruent with the current plan anyway. Um, it highlights the interconnectedness of land use across parcels of land and advances a wider view beyond just the reserve itself. Um, the last thing I would mention is that in leading the build of Tent Terramia Loop Track, I have consistently privileged good environmental stewardship. We've not created beads, so beds of exposed soil that have attracted weeds. We've covered soil with turf and seen it regrow into the landscape. We have not scarred the landscape, and the Terramia Loop Track is for the most part nigh on invisible from outside the reserve itself. Of this I'm proud and will continue to apply such a sense of stewardship to any Port Hills um, developments. Because um, it's important that we as mountain bikers don't treat it like, you know, we're the only people that enjoy this landscape. Um, it's enjoyed by many, many people. Um, and we're, we're lucky to have the, have the use of it, and it's enjoyed by a, very, a great number of people. Um, thank you very much. I appreciate the time to present to you. Thank you. Kia ora, and thank you. Um, any questions? No? Uh, Aaron. Really quickly, what's single track? Uh, single track is, is what um, some mountain bikers, it's, it's sheep, sheep track width, the people, mountain bikers prefer to ride because it's nice and narrow. We don't really like riding on great big wide things. Um, we prefer to create and ride single track that flows across the landscape. So it is by nature a minor scar on the landscape um, because we, we really only build something that this, this wide. Right, and so do you use some of those old sheep tracks? Is that what you said? Occasionally we incorporate yeah. them here because yeah. sheep, sheep are quite intelligent. They find a yeah. nice way across the yeah. hill. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. cool. Thank you. Excellent. Look, thank you very much for your presentation this morning. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you for your time. Thank you.